Hi guys, welcome to another exclusive tournament with match point scoring. So we have a standard uh, challenge of eight boards, match points. So let's jump in in the app and have a look on the actual leaders. And we have Yashir with 75.34%, followed by Neo7 with almost 73 and Mark uh, Everett. Uh, with well just a little bit less so let's scroll uh, Vitop actually has the same score here uh, Ralph Bendix has a good chance to uh, improve actually a bit if he has a different score and jump to the third place and for the rest we have Yirka scoring 71.6 Ulf uh, Daniel didn't finish his last board and Dr. Kev uh, over 70%. Well, I will I will be playing a challenge in the evening uh, against this guy. So, well, that might be a toughie since he scored over 70 uh, in here. Uh, Joao also scored 70% and that's 12 people except of two of those. So actually only top 10 scored over 70. So this might be not, not that easy. Okay. So let's let's play guys let's play okay so we have 11 high card points partner is a past hand we're balanced so the hand is not like entirely great for bidding but we have four spades and I mean if they have hearts I want to compete in two spades and push them third level. We might have three defensive tricks, so if partner has something, in average after pass hand he will have one, maybe two honors, so two tricks. If we are extremely lucky he has three tricks. So I want to double, because we can go down twice from two spades and that's it. Well. Now the question is, what do we lead? I mean, after this bidding. Partner bid spades, but that doesn't guarantee that he has the king of spades. East jumps to four, and I don't think that he will actually jump to four spades if he has the king of spades. Partner bids voluntarily, so we have 11, he will have something like two honors, so six. So opponents don't have like that many high card points, which means that they are bidding the game based on shape. So I probably want to cash my ace and I think the king will be either with west or north. I don't want to lead the jack of hearts doubleton. Three small diamonds might be a good lead but might be not. Okay well the jack, I don't like that. I don't like that. Did we just give away a trick? Did we just give away a trick? King jack, oh we did. Ah, okay, well, this is annoying, this is annoying. Okay, the, this one we want to win. Pardon played high-low, so he has five spades. Um, this might be actually just a try. Pardon played the six. So he might play, he might have the 10 or he plays the middle one. So he might have actually free. Uh, still, I'm going to play a club because I don't mind if he discards the diamond because he will do it anyway. And I don't want him to finesse partner's potential queen. I have the nine of clubs so he doesn't have two discards. Wow, queen. And that's it. Okay, well, so the diamond lead. The diamond lead actually beats the contract. Because we score diamonds, two spades, and ace of clubs. So leading from three small. That's the only lead which beats the contract. 11 tricks, that would be a disaster. 11%. 18. So we started really with a disaster. Four spades actually is, is kind of a top score some people made and some were going down undoubled for a hundred 
So how actually to achieve that? North opens two spades. Okay, well that's a story. But, I mean, is this really a two spade opening? Even if I will be playing 5-4, um, then this is not suitable for, for the opening. See guys how the diamond lead will get the entry for the spade finesse and making the ease of clubs. Okay, well... If I uh, make ten, if I actually beat it for 50, I score 82 percent. So that's for the diamond leaders. Well done, guys! If you did a diamond and lead passive on this board, I was afraid that if I lead passive, that they they just discard the spade. I have a control. Uh, on the other hand, I have a control uh, of clubs. So that can happen. That can happen only if dummy has actually four diamonds, like he has now. Just switch the king of spades and king of diamonds, and the diamond lead is giving away a trick. It's simple like that. Sometimes you need a little bit of luck. Okay, thirteen high card points balanced. So we open a minor. We have to rebid no trumps after heart. Yeah. Uh, because we are balanced, don't bid clubs. Because this, first of all, this is match point. Uh, second of all, you want to show that you have a balanced hand. So partner, get the idea of what are the possible contracts uh, with the new minor forcing or what I'm playing a checkback Rudy convention or how you call it. Uh, he's asking me if I have three hearts or four spades. I don't and. Then partner just decides to play free now. Partner can use this. Well, I might have four spades. I mean, in in my style, with Arjun probably not. And he has five hearts, three spades. We have two stoppers in clubs, so they have two club winners potential. They have the ace of spades, and they might get some diamond tricks. Uh, I have only four top tricks. So I want to establish the hearts. If they split 3-3, free, free, I have 4 heart tricks, 4 quick tricks and possibly 2 extra in, uh, in spades. The question is, if I win the club, do I want to, do I want to lead the jack of hearts? If there is a double ten ace with east, I, I actually need to play a spade from north. But I cannot afford to play the spade towards the jack. Because then they will open the clubs again and then they will open the diamonds. Um, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If hearts actually don't split. I might, I might need to play the spade finesse now actually. Because I might be lack of entries later on. And it's... Well... This guy already has four clubs. He probably doesn't have four spades because it's a more likely lead. He might have four hearts. So actually I'm winning, playing the spade finesse. Maybe I could have ducked, but I'm playing the spade finesse. We'll see the signals. So four of spades and the king. So that's not very good. So we duck one. Okay, they played another one. Okay, and now the question what is what do I play? Do I cross with the spade? Because that will give me an idea of the spade count. And then to lead a heart. If heart doesn't break, well, they, they get two and a heart ace and a diamond trick. And since they have a diamond trick, they will also have one club trick. So I will be already down. So I have two and two in spades, two in hearts, that's six. One in diamonds is seven. So I actually need, I need the hearts. I need the hearts. So I'm, I'm playing like this. So four and a five is three spades. Uh, 
Okay, well, this is promising that hearts split free free actually. Uh, we just discard the diamond and that's it. Okay, heart discard, so hearts are free free. And therefore, this will be a standard board. You don't have any other possible chances to win free no trumps. So, this should be above average. Yeah, if you just do your only chance. Okay, 67. I mean, that's standard. You see that 266 players made free no trumps. So, that's that's the big majority. Uh, quite a lot of people actually go down or go down twice. Hmm. That's a bit strange. The diamonds break free free and the 10 is on side if you just decide to play a low diamond later on and you duck. I actually needed to play the spade finesse relatively soon enough. See, that's the thinking ahead. Because if I win the club and play the jack of hearts, they win and they play the club again. Uh, and then you play on hearts, you actually don't have an entry to south to play the finesse. And if you do, the only entry is the ace of diamonds. So actually then you cannot... Uh, then if you play the finesse and it loses, you are losing the diamond tricks. So making the plan, uh, the wall plan, is extremely important. You just have to do it, not uh, not just count the tricks, but watch uh, the entries. Okay, semi-balanced hands, 12 high cards, 3, 6, 7, 8 losers, so this is pretty a bad hand, but I have 5 for majors, so definitely I want to open this one. And unfortunately I cannot be too spaced, that will show extras. So I have to bid 2 hearts as a minimum. Partner bids two spades, I bid three spades, and hope that he bids three no trumps. Four spades. Well, okay. I don't mind. I mean, that's better. I might discard the clubs on the diamonds, but uh, I need the club stopper and the ace of diamonds from partner. Well, we got the great lead. Okay, how about that? I mean, the queen is doubleton, right? So how do we play this hand? Well, we have to win for sure. Uh, do I want do I want to play the spade finesse or do I want to play just two rounds of spades? I'm going to lose a diamond. If the ace of clubs is on side, I'm losing only two aces. I have a chance to discard to discard two clubs on hearts. But the queen is a singleton or a doubleton. So that means east might have three or four spades. If that's a queen, he will be roughing from the, from an original. But um, I think I'm cashing the ace and... And play the diamonds. Eight. It's not the lowest. So we're missing what? Ten, nine, eight. Uh, five, four. And the seven. So Arjun, I think, plays the middle one from five. So, I might actually play the king and discard one. But then there might be a promotion there. Um, I think I'm going to do that. Because then they have to choose. If I play the King of Diamonds, they have to choose either to play the club or to play a hard through. Don't drop yet. Wow, he really had six. Oh, well, I'm stupid. I'm stupid because high low is odd, so no, high low is even. Uh, that's that's the difference. I'm playing the other way around. Okay, so I, I messed up here Well, this is the good ace. Hopefully he is also the ace of clubs now Okay, so so far so good five of diamonds and the six of diamonds Sorry six of clubs 
six and a queen, so that might be short. Five. Five and a seven. He roughed he roughed with the three, right? So we have the four, we have the six, so we're missing the eight and the queen. So I think I'm going to rough the diamond. I can even rough high. Right? There are only two spades left. Five and a six, so that's low high. Okay, well, no, no problems. Uh, but actually, uh, West had odd number of diamonds, odd number of no, sorry, even number of uh, hearts. Probably only doubleton club. Well, we didn't know he had to play the queen. So if we play, if we play actually the spade finesse directly, uh, we get. If we cash two spades, if I cash two spades, the queen drops, and then I lose only two tricks. So actually, this will be like 30% score. 46, so I'm surprised. But 450, 450 is actually only 69. So if you play the diamonds, you have to, you have to make 12 tricks. Same bidding, queen of hearts, okay, ducking the spade with the 10, playing the diamond, he jumps and he doesn't, he plays the diamond back. Oh, he underleads his ace, because you have only two discards there, so if he doesn't underlead the ace, then he will always score it. Well, probably not. You will play the... Yeah, you will always score it because East is holding the fifth diamond. So even the nine of diamonds would be good enough. So you discard three, uh, you rough a club, uh, you discard two, but then you are not dressed. Okay, so 11 tricks is standard, 12 is absolutely nonsense. And 83 people actually made that. Well, we, we should have made 70... Uh, 69 person here. See that even a hundred uh, went down one from four spades. So, yeah, kind of strange. But I have to focus. I have to remember. I'm too used to play high-low is odd number. That sometimes I'm forgetting that Arjun is playing the other way around. Not my partner, but the opponents. Okay, we have 16 counts. Um, good stoppers. Somebody, well, they will probably have the spade fit, but partner might have spade. So that's why I don't want to bid no trump, because most likely partner will bid the spade transfer. So I have to bid a diamond, and then after his spade, bid no trumps. Okay, so now I double, actually. I want to show, I want to bid, I want to show my points. And I think I might double one more, one more again. Everybody's vulnerable, so we get a we get a diamond lead, and we have the stoppers. So we have three tricks and potentially three tricks in diamonds. If partner has the ten, jack, or a queen, they might not have that many tricks in spades. So actually, they might score only ninety in one no trump. And it's strange that West doubled. And then didn't, so he has four hearts, then he didn't support its spade. So I don't want to bid one more time. The best will be probably one Ultram doubled. I think we're bidding it one by one trick. But we will see. Okay, ten of diamonds is good. And the queen is in the dummy. So the jack should be with west. So actually we have three diamond tricks is, ex is expected and three other tricks. Too bad if partner led a singleton 10. Okay, 4. 4 is an even number. 
So there are four hearts, four clubs. He will not have a singleton. Okay. So when we lead the diamond, he will play another club. Do we win or do we duck? That's a good question. Uh, the Clare can make four spade tricks. If he has the ace, he might finesse the 10-9 or something because my king drops. Sorry, my jack drops. So he has four, five, six, and a club is seven. So I actually have to have to win the ace. Uh, dummy had 10, 12 high cards. I have 16. That's 28. That's 12 there. Partner had no club, no club owners, no diamond owners. So he might actually have the hard owner or spade ace even. Six of spades. Well, that's not very encouraging in spades so partner will have a hard honor so I want to cash the king play the diamonds high low so partner might have partner has six spades actually and he discarded two he already discarded three so now the question is, do I want to cash the Ace of Hearts or do I play a low heart here? Spades are running. So if I play a low heart and he jumps with the king, uh, then he will discard... Wait. So he had Jack of Diamonds, Queen of Clubs, that's three high cards. If he has ace of spades, that's seven, and the king of hearts is ten, and that's possible. So I actually have to cash the ace. Yeah, because if we play low, it could have been a good one if he misguesses. It could have been a good one, but see that the spades were already done. And partner discarded the spade, so we didn't have it under control. Uh, if I have balls, okay, 36%. Well, I probably should have. See that one no trump here. Three clubs by east. Well, how you push them? So you bid one diamond and then you bid two diamonds. You don't double. Well, I don't like my diamonds to double. See that partner is having six spades. If he's having five hearts, I actually want to play in hearts, not in diamonds. So then they play three clubs and that's a disaster. I'm wondering if I unlead the hearts. If I unlead the hearts. Yeah, okay. If he ducks or not. Because sometimes, you know, you want to test this. You have the great opportunity to replay the board, to learn a bit more of how Arjun reacts. If he actually can read the cards or not. Because if I play a low heart and he jumps with the king, now I have the terrible score. Because now he will make all the tricks now he will make all the tricks and the score is 19 percent only so i did well to catch the ace probably if i play the heart a bit sooner okay something went wrong okay so we need to replay if i played a bit sooner maybe that uh, he will duck low but at the end he didn't have m other chance he had to jump with the ace Okay, one heart and we have one, two, three good honors and we cover the third round of diamonds. So actually I want to just show that I have a forcing to game hand with four cards and that's the three no trumps in my setup. So four card fit, 12, 14, I'm upgrade a hand a little bit. I just want to play four hearts. Don't tell the defenders any side information, especially not about my partner's hand. See, so they didn't lead a diamond. Uh, 
I don't want them to lead a diamond in the second round too because I have a small chance that I can discard the diamond on the spade so that's why I want to duck and win with the ace because maybe they might think East might think that West is actually having having the Queen of Clubs okay he will play a club I'm sure nope wow wow he found it okay he might not have a club are you telling me that this is <laughs> should have played a low heart well he will jump again too wow and another rough so what am I doing wrong guys I didn't tell them anything well they found they found it out at least they are giving me the spade trick but I mean well defended well defended well this guy knows and he has ace king and diamond so he has both entries to give him the roughs unbelievable 30 percent see that quite a lot of people got it only one down okay because they bid one spade so club lead hard there jack of diamonds and well I should have ducked um, that's that's true that I, I should have ducked still well West can simply overtake and give partner the rough uh, so yeah my mistake my mistake actually here not not roughing sorry not covering and well 40 percent in the tournament I mean this didn't happen to me for a long time that I have such bad scores at the beginning um, when you start bad well you need to change something what do I change yeah what do I change Twelve balanced diamonds. We are rebeating no trumps. Yeah, and now it's again partner's decision which contract we will play. And he goes straight to three. No, that means that he has only four spades, no four hearts. So he will probably be four spades, four clubs, or four triple three. They will lead a hearts. They will lead a club and that's actually pretty good for me that they didn't lead a heart. I have five and four clubs is nine, ten. So again I will be standing in front of the difficult decision if I play the spade finesse or not. Let's play the jack, maybe they cover. Okay, they cover, so that made it easy for me. So now I can catch my nine tricks. And then I will see. Then I will decide, decide later on. So this is a passive lead. So that means that he might not be willing to lead uh, from his ace. Club split. And we got the spade discard. And the two is more like that he prefers to play the hearts. The two of diamonds, that's for more like for spades if they signal even card as uh, discouraging in that suit well they probably both want a heart yeah I have the odd cards yeah and I actually don't want him to cover with the king so I want to play the 10 I want to play the 10. It's covered. Well, that's not good. Obviously, that's not good. But this guy already discarded. Uh, he already discarded the heart. So if he has a singleton heart on her, I can play a low spade towards the jack, then play a low heart. And this guy cannot jump with the ace and drop the singleton king because I think East is still keeping two spades.
No, he has all the hearts. Wow. Did I count wrong and the spades were good actually? No, I think West had, West had an extra spade. I can't be that bad. Yeah, he had an extra spade. So, West did well not to cover the 10. Sorry, to cover the 10. That's why I didn't play the Jack, because he might think that East is having East is having the, the, the Jack. But well, that's, that's why they're good defenders if they know the count. And here the count was uh, extremely important. See that 86% actually scored uh, 12 tricks and one, one guy scored all the tricks. So let's see how you can score all the tricks. So you play diamonds first, which actually might be not not that smart because now you cannot catch the clubs. But you have an entry. Well, that's right. You have an entry. So that was a good thing to pl to, to to do because now you can unblock and you can you have the club communication. Yeah. It's probably better. It's better to catch the diamonds and watch for the signals because if the spade finance is on, you want to have this unblock. Yeah, well, I'm not. I'm not in shape today. I already have one of the most important challenges behind me against Pete Hollands, and I'm pretty sure, guys, that when you are watching this video, that uh, you know Pete's channel. YouTube channel and well uh, the next challenge is coming coming out on the YouTube soon so stay tuned please don't do that yeah well this was the wrong sign uh, 16 don't do open a note trump with this one Two no trumps is a free card fit and 12-14, so we count the losers. We have one spade loser, three hearts is four, one club is five, two spades. We have actually seven losers, but 16 high card points. So our hand is a bit better in no trumps. So how about how about bidding free no on this one and let partner decide. I mean, of course I would prefer to play from my side, but you never know. This is a good test. So a semi-balanced hand, usually with 12-14, uh, with 12-14, is uh, six, kind of six losers. And if I have 16 and seven losers, that means that uh, I have wasted values. Well, you can see that doubleton queen, ace queen, uh, in clubs. So that means that there might be the same amount of tricks in no trumps and in spades. And in match points, that's a sign where you want to be in free no trumps. So maybe at the end I should have opened one no trump with five four majors. Well, I probably, maybe I should have. Well, okay, I shouldn't. Parton is having a singleton and we will be playing free no. So that won't be a good, good outcome at the end. Wow. Okay, let's cover. Give me the king. So that saved me the guesses. And now it's all about the spade discards. Sorry, spade split. See, I am not even know what I'm talking about. Uh, what's wrong with me? Okay, we get the rough and we lose the spade. So this was a very easy, straightforward game. Mm, could we have made more? Actually, six clubs is probably there because on the hard we might discard the spade. But we need the singleton or doubleton ten drop. But if West holds the fourth king, uh, then it's not wor working. So I don't think it's there. We have uh, we have only. 11 tricks we have to lose the diamond ace and see the heart is is there 
So 65 and finally, finally a, a good score. See, I'm usually having like half of the boards and uh, and like those two digit numbers. So actually close to the top scores. See that now my top scores, 16th place and second place are 67%. That's why the average is so bad. Uh, I hope that in the evening it will be better on the live stream with the IM tournaments. So guys, this is an invitation. If you are watching this video on the Funbridge YouTube channel, just search on YouTube for Milan Matsura uh, on YouTube and you will find the other exclusive videos. And of course, it's the best if you subscribe to both channels and hit the bell button to get the notifications when we post a new video because then you will not miss your favorite tournaments and your favorite streamer hopefully now Pete is good and well he has seven and a half thousand subscribers wow that's a number okay um do we go a slam here so how to find out if we go a slam or not uh, when we are on the edge of 30 high card points. So the best thing is to count the losers. Well, we are a balanced hand, so with balanced hands, you usually need 30 and more points and a little bit of luck if you are only 30. If you have a semi-balanced hand with a shortness, you need much less. Uh, but if you count the losers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven theoretical losers, partner for 12, 14 is having three maximum four good owners so that means that we need two extra tricks to be covered for example by the spade finesse hard finesse club finesse well spade break and a club discard so something like that and that's actually already two two needs uh, if partner has a maximum so there's no way we're going for a slam C partner has four useful owners and the slam is actually based on the spade finesse and guessing the hearts. So not like a terrible one. Well, it is it is a bad one, but um, it has a chance. It has a chance. Okay, so who do we play for the queen of hearts? I have absolutely no chances to get the diamond discard. So how about I play the spade finesse first? Well, with my luck, they will get the spade rough. Um, I don't want to do that. It's West is a passed hand. He let a small diamond, so he will have the queen of diamonds probably. Yeah, well, we can't get any ideas from that. We can finesse the fourth queen uh, with both hands. Yeah, I want I want to finesse east for either one of those honors. So if he has the king, well, if he doesn't have the king, he should have the queen of hearts. So this is playing for 11 tricks, three and a six. How does that help? And the jack, okay, he didn't cover and he played the eight. It's already a high one, so I have to play low. Okay, misguessed. So today, today is not my day. Yeah. Not my day. So how about the spade finesse? Well, we could have done it the way that if the spade finesse is on, that the hard finesse we will play the other way around. So that's what we could have done. And see, if I lose the spade finesse, I will, I will finesse east. Simply, there might be a higher chance that the honors are split and not in one hand. Yeah, well, that's because East has both King, Queen and Diamonds, which didn't seem so from the six. I 
couldn't find out well well enough 51 and 82 percent for the hearts so guys 46 percent uh i feel terrible but maybe you feel better because what that means almost everybody beats me almost everybody beats me so let's have a look let's have a look so yashir and now are staying there uh, mark and Vitop actually now are sharing the third and Ralph is still 0.06% behind. So he still get the chance to get to the top three. Neo and Irka obviously are winning my friends list. But see that everybody beats me. Wow, Christian, you did it too by 0.02. Okay, I'll go. So who did I beat? Well, Franco, Igor... Uh, Marco and a couple of you guys so I see that well I'm not the only one I mean you so many of you are here scoring too few and I mean you just played uh, similar probably as I did and that's sometimes how how it is how it goes sometimes you have a bad day okay maniac here uh, Niels Jill Wow well done 56 percent nice score Jill okay Hinek, Deborah crawling roll on here Martin Pip pirate with 69 Wow that's impressive Joao Fania from Portugal uh, a very nice guy and a great player from Portugal 70 percent so Wow, these guys really deserve admiration to score that much on these boards. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, again, subscribe, like the video if you liked it. Uh, share a comment if, well, you want to hear something. But uh, better text me on a fun bridge or uh, join join the YouTube. Uh, sorry, join the live stream where you can ask the questions directly and you will get an immediate uh, response and also there might be other people who will add comments to that because we can learn the best way as a group from each other thank you guys stay safe and see you next week hopefully in a better shape